Hello guys, what's up? It's me, Straw Hat Ninja eighty nine here, and uh, well, I was hoping to do this technically when um, this is like what my second time doing this, my third time because for some odd reason my unboxings and shit they came out really fail. Hopefully this time this one has sound in it because if not then. There's something really wrong. I'm trying different SD cards because the other one I have was like old. Maybe because I kept deleting and undeleting shit. So that being said, that's like probably why I couldn't really um, do the unboxings properly. And I'm really, really pissed off about that. Because I really want to properly unbox stuff. But apparently there's just going to have to be updates for stuff that I got. So one thing is an anime that I got recently this week. Because tomorrow I do go back to work from my days off. And the other thing is a video game that came out on Friday, but I couldn't get it the first day because of my cousin's wedding and whatnot. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's just get to the update, shall we? Uh, it's pretty much, you know, it's an anime that's, you know, you either love it or you hate it. It's based on a purple-haired fire magic fire dragon wizard. And he's going against a bunch of his friends in an all-out tournament in this part. And this is pretty much the last set for Season 1. Yeah, pretty much. Because I don't think Funimation got the license to Season 2 yet. So, that's the thing. We got to hope and pray that they get enough supporters. If not, I do not want the series to get cancelled or anything like that. Which I doubt it. Because Fairy Tail is a really big fan base like One Piece. So, I highly doubt it. So, without further ado, let's get to the update. And... I mean, call me whatever you want. I mean, yeah, the manga may not be, like, as good, but the anime sure is very entertaining. I love the openings. I love the music. I like the characters. Friendship thing gets a little bit irritating after a while, but it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Trust me. Um, there's even worse repetitive series out there. <laughs> Inuy <coughs> Inuyasha. <coughs> Inuyasha. <coughs> Inuyasha. If you got the reference, let me know what I was about to say there. Um, yeah, I, I think pretty much people already got the joke. Like, oh, I know, that that was a little bit corny, you know. I apologize. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, there's other series that are beyond worse that put the whole friendship... Well, not just the friendship thing, but the repetitive plot, rinse and repeat over and over again. At least with fairy tale, it's more... You know, I may make a video about that, like, how it's not as repetitive as people say it is. I mean, Inuyasha, again, is beyond worse when it comes to repetitive, especially the first series. It's final act I didn't see, so who knows. Anyways, let's just get to the update before I ramble on and on. And here it is, Fairy Tale Part 4 DVD Blu-ray Combo Pack. Yeah, I know I don't have the cover thing, not to mention the reversible cover. Sorry, I got more light. I don't have just about yet. But, um, I ain't set up yet, but I will later on or whatever. Look at that sexy Urza. Urza right there for the motherfucking win. And again, I really... And she's one of the best damn female characters in anime and in the series. I don't care what anybody says. She's a tough warrior. I really wish her and Zoro can go against each other. That would be really a, a great competition. So, anyways. Let's just see what's inside, shall we? As you see, you get your usual table contents... You got, you know, Happy right there, your table contents of episodes, and here's the first disc of the DVD version. I always don't get why the Blu-ray versions don't get the same treatment. That really pisses me off. Like, really? Come on. The, it's a higher quality disc, so you can obviously get more out of it, but whatever. Sorry. I'm zooming. I'm not zooming on her boobs. I'm not zooming on her boobs, you perverts. I'm not. I'm not. It's just my damn camera thing, zooming thing is, is yeah. Huh. And here's disc number two for the DVD version. It's really nice. I really do love the disc cards for DVD, but I really hate, again, how plain the Blu-rays are. It just shows, like, happy expressions. He's just, like, getting all serious, I guess. And him being all cute or for your weeaboos, kawaii, you know, looking all cute for the girls, for fangirls of happy, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the fairy tale part four. DVD Blu-ray comic back. I'll put it back because I'm watching it. I'm, I'm on episode... Uh... I forget. I think I'm on 43. 43. I'm on episode uh, 43, like, as of now. Um, sorry, but I have to go get the other thing, which is the video game. And it's on the Nintendo 3DS that came out on Friday. Again, because of my cousin's wedding, I couldn't get it the first day. Um... So yeah, without further ado, let's get to the other game, which of course isn't an unboxing, it's just playing. 
Now, I had the box to the game, but I threw it out because, one, it got ripped. And the next thing, I don't really like those boxes because they wore out thin so badly. I, I thought the boxes come with the special edition. Are the boxes with the special edition? And they come with all the of, of all the, the Kid Icarus versions. Because I thought I just got the special edition for the same price, which is weird. At my local video game store. Not GameStop. It's a just a local video game store. So, whatever. Um. Anyways... And it's our beloved pit returning after 20 years, you guys. Here it is. Kid Icarus Uprising from 3DS. <sighs> Smell the epicness, you guys. This is the day we've all been waiting for for the 3DS. A game I was really expecting for the 3DS, you guys. I saw different screenshots. Um, I, it's getting some pretty damn good reviews. Everyone seems to praise it as one of the best 3DS games they played. However, I do agree with the flaws. I do agree with it that technically the controls for ground again could have used a little more work. Oh my god, you're agreeing with RGN and GameStop. <gasps> it's not the presses. Well, to be fair, I do agree with them on that. They are right that the controls on ground could have used a little more work. Well, on the air, the controls work very, very well, but I'm pretty much used to it. Even if the ground ones feel a little bit clunky, I'm still getting used I still got used to the controls, and it's still very, very fun. Uh, and here's the back of it. Is it just me, or does it seem Final Fantasy slash Kingdom Heart-ish? Ish, sort of. <laughs> it kind of does remind me of, like, the art style reminds me either of Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts. Um, even the weapons, look, God, even the weapons remind me of it, which is, like, weird. I mean, I'm not trying to say they're copying it, but I guess they were, like, inspired by it. So, let's open what's inside, and you get, like, a whole bunch of angels on there oh yeah it says mario kart 7 like <laughs> i'll be like sorry guys fooled you <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding the game is actually in my 3ds yeah i knew it <laughs> fail because i had mario kart 7 with me on the go and i'm like oh, i forgot so i just switched it with the case with kid icarus and you get the instruction manual book and you know whatchamacallit and that's really it so thank you guys for watching this update Pray to God this actually works with the sound, you know, finally. I'm switching SD cards, so hopefully this might actually work. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Straw Hat Ninja 89 over and out. See you on the bounce. Peace out. And, yeah, can't wait. Um, so far, I'm enjoying Kid Icarus. Um, a full review of it will be coming up very soon. Same with Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations, which I'm pretty much almost done with it. I'm pretty much going to get that review with it very quick. I don't know what that was. So, anyways, later, guys. Peace.